Good day, and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob here. Yesterday, we, we made a transition from talking about addiction in relationship to mood-altering substances, the ones that we're most familiar with, like alcohol. We included nicotine here, highly addictive. We moved from talking about those substances to examining something that actually may hit closer to home uh, for many of us. We talked about behavioral addictions. That would be addictions to anything other than to substances. I even provided you a brief list of some of the more common addictive behaviors. Uh, it's by no means comprehensive, but at least I gave you a jump start there. And then I asked you to self-reflect uh, on your own possibly addictive behavioral patterns. That's really what we're looking at here. I'm curious, what did you discover? I certainly don't want us to get stuck in feeling bad about ourselves. That's uh, really never our intention here at the Vitality Project. As we've talked about before, and I know we'll talk about again, shame about our addictions absolutely gets us nowhere. But I, what I do want to do is provide a bit of perspective for you that may help in maybe not feeling so alone and hopefully not feeling so bad about ourselves. You remember how I shared just a couple of days ago how it is that one out of four Americans is currently addicted to substance? Any guess how many of us are addicted to all the other behaviors besides addiction to alcohol and other drugs? Well, believe it or not, it's 90%. 90% of Americans are willing to admit that they have at least one behavioral addiction currently. 90%. You know, when I cite that statistic to my treatment center groups here locally, I'll often ask, once I tell them that statistic, the 90% statistic, I'll say, any ideas, you guys, about the other 10%? I bet you can guess uh, the reply of group respondents. If you guessed this, you're right. What they say to me, most often, they say, they're lying, Dr. Bob. <laughs> now, why that might be the case will soon be a topic that we'll be wanting to explore. But for today, what I want to do is I want to ask you to reflect on how it impacts you personally. To first of all, admit to yourself any behavioral addiction that you may currently experience. How does that feel to you? But also, I think it's really important, how does it land for you to recognize that you're not, not even nearly alone here? That at least 90% of everyone else you know struggles in some form or another with their own expression of at least one behavioral addiction. I want to invite you to come back tomorrow as we unpack the very uh, important, the crucial implications of this awareness that we're all in the soup together, that we're not alone. We're not alone when it comes to knowing addiction from the inside. And what does that mean for us? What does that mean for our relationships? What does that mean uh, uh, regarding our attitudes about addiction to start with? We'll be unpacking all of this as we continue forward here. Thanks for joining me today here at the Vitality Project. Please stay safe, be well, and come back and join us again soon.